Shalom, Jacobs Camp staff and faculty. I'm Barry Block. I'm the rabbi of Congregation B'nai Israel in Little Rock and the faculty dean at Jacobs Camp. Welcome home. Welcome to my home in Little Rock, Arkansas. And welcome home to virtual Jacobs Camp, to HSJ365. What a bummer this situation is. I thought of changing into a Jacobs Camp t-shirt, and then I realized that I'd be speaking to Jacobs Camp staff, many of whom are at home in their parents' homes and not at college, the home that you've been enjoying for these many months and which you've been ripped away from. We face that together with the reality that we don't know whether we'll be able to shout and hear welcome home with gates opening in Utica this summer. The situation really is challenging for each of us individually and for all of us as a community. But you know what, at Jacob's Camp we face hardship together. I'd like to share some Jewish principles that we might think about as we face this pandemic. The first, of course, you know, you've learned it all your lives, is that the most important mitzvah in Judaism is pikuach nefesh, is saving a life. All of our decisions, responsibly socially distancing, assuring that our elders can socially distance, obeying laws and the rulings of our local and state and federal governments about how we need to stay apart and just dealing with all of these misfortunes, they're all saving lives. That comes first before all the things that we normally enjoy and that we look forward to getting back to enjoying. The second, Alti Fos Min Hatzibu, a line from Tifer Pirke Avot that means don't separate yourself from your community. It's ironic that I say that in this moment when we're forced physically to separate from our community. The reason that HSJ 365 exists, though, is because right now we need to be connected to our community more than ever. So I'd like to encourage all of us to think about the people in our Jacobs Camp lives who matter the most to us. Set up group uh, online encounters through Zoom or FaceTime or whatever it is that you use to get together to have group online hangouts where you see each other face to face. Be together participate in HSJ 365 activities, and don't separate from this community that means so much to one another. Then, of course, there's chesed. There's compassion. For those of us who are younger, and most of you are younger than me, a lot younger, um, we have the capacity to do some things that more vulnerable members of more vulnerable populations cannot. To go grocery shopping for people who can't safely go to the grocery store. To think about what it is that we can do to make other people's lives easier. And for faculty members who may be like me with college age students at home, and for college-age students who may be at home with your parents at a time when you didn't expect to be, for all of us to just be a little gentler and more compassionate with each other and recognize we're not in a situation that any of us would have chosen. Yeah, sure, I'm happy to have my son home, but not for this reason. Finally, I'd like to suggest the importance of menuchat ha-nefesh, of equanimity. 
it's really easy to just lose it at a time like this. And it's understandable. And yet each of us needs to find the resources within ourselves and maybe even outside ourselves, what it is that we need, who it is that we need to talk to, how much exercise do we need to get, how do we make sure that we eat right, even under this unusual circumstance, to take care of ourselves, to keep our minds, our bodies, and our souls in balance so that we can meet this time of extraordinary uncertainty with some degree of menuchat hanefesh, of souls that are at rest, of equanimity. Stay well. Keep your community together. Be kind. And take care of yourselves with equanimity. And look forward to the time that once again will fling open the gates of on Morrison Road, who knows, maybe even this June, God willing, and we'll say, welcome home.